Okay, introduction to biodiversity. Um, so we have three types of biodiversity, species diversity, habitat diversity, and genetic diversity. Um, and we want to use this biodiversity data um, so we know how to better conserve biodiversity, um, which is why it's important not only to understand it, but also to quantify it, to give it a, an actual value. Um, so species diversity, um, as we've talked about, will comprise of the richness, the number of species, um, and then the relative abundance within each one. So the evenness. So uh, what's the total number of species and how many individuals per species would be evenness. Um, so we would look at different diversity indices like the Simpsons diversity index, which would tell us if one is more diverse than another. Um, and if we see a lower diversity, maybe there's pollution, maybe there's eutrophication, uh, which we'll actually talk about next year, uh, or maybe there's some other human impacts that would affect the diversity of that system. Um, habitat diversity refers to the range of habitats in an ecosystem. Um, so you can imagine um, like where exactly can you live? Are you living inside of a tree? Are you making a nest in the branches of a tree? Are you living in the roots underneath the tree? Um, are you building a den? out of the tree, etc. cetera. Um, genetic diversity is gonna be the range of genetic material or DNA. Um, and you generally want a higher genetic diversity because that gives you a better chance for variation, for adaptation, for mutations, which would make your species more likely to survive and also make you more resilient overall. Quantification of biodiversity is important for conservation. Basically, if we don't know what our conservation's like, we, we don't know how we could protect it. We wouldn't know if areas are becoming more biodiverse or less biodiverse, et cetera. Um, so we can figure out areas with really high biodiversity and then find out areas that are losing that biodiversity. Um, and then most importantly, we wanna be able to assess the change of this over time. So how is the biodiversity changing? Is it growing or is it shrinking? Um, and what might happen because of that? Um, so you should be able to distinguish between diversity of species, habitat diversity, and genetic diversity. You should be able to comment on relative values of biodiversity data. So if I, excuse me, if I say this ecosystem has a Simpson value of say 20, where this other ecosystem has a value of one, which one has higher biodiversity? And then why is it actually useful to give numerical values of species diversity? Um, obviously, because we, we can actually know something um, you know, more concrete versus just kind of looking and saying, oh, it looks like that one's more about diverse. Having quantifiable numbers is, is really helpful in science. And more, most importantly, we want to reassess this biodiversity over time. Is it, how is it changing? Is it becoming more diverse, less diverse, etc. cetera? 